I hadn't been cooking onions for a long time, and um, I don't know why. I guess we just I just haven't. So um, everybody said, "Oh, what are you cooking? What are you cooking?" I'm just cooking onions. So anyway, I did get the um, Empire Sweet onions are coming in right now, so that's what we're going to use. And I want to get these started because we want to get them nice and caramelized. So we'll just get those. And we're going to melt some butter in our pot, I believe. And see if we can get them both at the same time. My onions cut and the butter melted. So I've just got a quarter of a stick of butter. And I've got uh, three onions here. And you could cut them, you know, whole and have the nice ring, but we're going to... I'm going to cut them down a little bit, make it a little bit easier to serve right now. And I took care of, um, we'll talk a little bit about, you know, this isn't cooperating, okay. Talk a little bit about the bread. I did um, get some um, French bread from the Bakery Deli. They have some nice loaves down there. And I did toast it, just cut it and um, put it just in the oven to toast it. So I got a nice little toast on here's one piece here that's going to go on the top. Um, and this is just basically, you know, an, an onion soup. It's, um, what can I say? We're using the sweet onions as opposed to the green or the red or the whatever. Well, we had that discussion a couple weeks ago. Okay. A lot to peel here. And I just like to leave the little stem on. We're not dicing them, I'm just gonna slice them. But it makes them look just a little bit easier to slice, to hang on to. And we've got a little bit of a bad spot in this one. We'll just take that out, because the rest of it's good. I should, I guess, check these beforehand. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we just got sort of a half, ugh, half moon thing on here. I think the rest of the chopping will go easier. And like I said, this smells wonderful in your kitchen. It's one of these that um, we're going to in a, I think next month we're gonna do a crock pot class. Once you get these onions um, caramelized, you can throw everything else in a crock pot Ooh, this one's yucky too. So um, and have that sort of, you know, as the weather changes, have that sort of ready when you get home from work. That'd be good. All right. Well, if I wasn't having problems with these onions, how's my butter? Oh, good. I think I'll make it. Those eggs okay. are recall no, they are not. <laughs> and we're going to talk about that, what you should do. I, I was listening to all these uh, egg things going on, and um, they are not, I, I don't believe, now I, I could be wrong, at least as of yesterday, the eggs haven't reached Tennessee. So, um, and I didn't look at the recalls, but we'll, we'll talk about those in a few minutes. I don't know how you can recall, what is it, five billion eggs or something? I don't like. But we will talk about that. Now, I like to, just so I know that I'm caramelizing the onions, I've got this little piece left. I'm going to put it right here so that we can see that, you know, sometimes you look at this when you're cooking. Ooh, that sounds good. And you don't know if they're getting, they're turning golden and all that. So this is going to, that little white piece of onion is going to show us. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, sugar in here just to kind of help the caramelization of the onions. Just a teaspoon. Sprinkle that on. Give it a quick stir. And we're just going to let these cook. I've got them started, so I'm going to turn them down a little bit. We just want to get them 
nice and golden and flavorful and pretty. Okay. All right, so we're just going to let those caramelize. We've got our onion to check. I'm going to use a garbage bowl today and pretend I'm Rachel Ray. I did that earlier and I thought, hey, that's really a good idea. I don't have stuff all over. Okay. So that's, um, we'll get our onions started, then we're going to put in a little bit of flour to kind of help with the thickening. We're going to add some um, condensed beef, not the regular beef broth, but the condensed because we are going to add a little bit of water. Uh, a cup and a half of water, a cup and a half of chicken broth, and two cans of the condensed beef broth. So we'll wait for our onions to caramelize a little bit, and we'll move on to our um, French toast, because we're going to have a combination of smells here, cooking onions and peach French toast. And when you're doing this, you want to let them cook, you know, it says about 10 minutes. Sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes it may take a little bit longer. You want to make sure that you keep them stirred so they don't get um, black. We don't want any black onions. In fact, I think before we put our French toast together, the onions look good enough to get started. So we're going to take our flour and throw that in. Like I said, this is going to just act as a thickening. We're going to use our water, our chicken broth and our beef broth. Okay, stir this up. Now you want to make sure when you put your flour in, it's going to kind of stick to the bottom, and but you want to make sure it's all sort of no lumps. <laughs> it's really steaming. Okay. And then we're slowly going to add our chicken broth. Now, I did measure this chicken broth, so it is a cup and a half of chicken broth. We'll start with that. And again, you want to add it kind of slowly. Let it, if we threw all this stuff in, it would, of course, reduce the temperature of your pot and your onions and all that all at once. So we want to kind of add it in slowly so we're not having any lumps from the flour. until we can kind of get it stabilized a little bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to turn that back up, the temperature. Okay. And our water, we'll go ahead and put the water in. Now notice on the recipe, there's no salt and pepper. We're using the condensed beef broth so if you feel the need to salt it, make sure that you taste it first. Yep. I know. I can rip it right off. Well, from the very beginning when we used to have can opener issues, I'd just open all the cans. Ooh, I don't know what's wrong with that one. Okay. So we're going to let this come back up to the boil. Like I said, you don't need to add salt and pepper to this and we're just going to let that cook and of course now one of the culinary terms if you, terms you're not familiar with is we deglaze the pan with the, all the liquid that you're putting in and got all that neat little stuff that was stuck on the bottom of the pan so so then your pan's all clean not the best ladle but for this size thing we're going to put <laughs> <laughs> into slices, just toasted them in the oven. We're going to put that there and get our Swiss cheese. So there's one. We're going to put a lot of cheese in this. Okay. I'm going to cover that hole. Oops. There we go. Now, what, you can use whatever size of bowls you have. And that is our French onion soup. We're going to pop that in the oven so the cheese melts. Mm -hmm. 